Looking for a bargain Florida mobile home? This manufactured home is in a beautiful 55 plus resort community. It has been fully remodeled and features a large amount of entertainment area. Join us for a closer look. In this video, we will tour a bargain manufactured home in Village Green a 55 plus Florida retirement community. There are many Florida mobile homes for sale, but what makes this one a bargain is the entire home was just remodeled. Swimming pools, tennis courts, and dozens of new friends await you. So if you were looking for an affordable entry into a resort Florida retirement community, then you are in the right place. Hello, I'm Russ Watson. I help folks choose a Florida manufactured housing solution that fulfills their dreams and meets their needs. Let's dig in. Vero Beach is a small city on the east coast of Florida. It is about 34 miles north to the city of Melbourne. It's 94 miles up to the resorts at Disney. Vero Beach has a small airport, but most air travel will be done from either Melbourne, West Palm Beach, or Orlando. There are dozens and dozens of restaurants from seafood to hot cuisine. Hutchinson Island has oceanfront dining and wonderful shopping opportunities. We have previously done a video on manufactured home communities in Vero Beach. I'll post the link above. There are many cultural opportunities McKee Gardens holds regular events, as does the Vero Beach Museum of Art. Plays, comedy, and more are at the Riverside Theater Complex. Cleveland Clinic operates a large hospital there, and there are numerous facilities in the area covering most medical needs. Village Green is a land lease community with a little over 700 homes. It is located just west of the city limits. Indian River Square, Walmart Supercenter, Sam's Club, and much more provide nearby shopping. Village Green was developed in three phases, and each has their own clubhouse with a diverse mix of amenities. The facilities in each of the three villages are available to all residents. There are beautiful tennis courts tucked away in one corner of the facility. These resort communities offer incredible activities and almost non-stop activities. Maintaining these facilities does cost money and not everyone can fit them in their budget. What's important to you in a community? Let me know in the comments. For help in choosing a community, I suggest you consider my book. The link is in the description below. Well, let's head into Village Green and see if we can find this place. The yards look nice and clean, and the lawns are well maintained. There's plenty of palm trees. If I'm living in a Florida community, that's one thing I want to see is a lot of palm trees. The homes look well maintained, too. There are older homes as well as brand new homes available in this community. These homes in the cul-de-sac would be nice if you like privacy in your backyard. I get mail from folks who say these communities have too many rules, but it's in these communities that I see consistently well-maintained homes and beautifully groomed yards that make me want to say, hmm, I'd like to live here. This is a beautiful home with a full-windowed front-facing Florida room. The unusual vertical siding gives it a unique look in the neighborhood. It features central air conditioning. The unit is a brand new one with a three-year warranty in place. The home sits on a highly coveted perimeter lot. The exterior has been freshly painted. In fact, as you shall see, this home has been remodeled inside and out. Those lucky enough to find homes in this condition often reap the benefits of the remodel at a price well below what it would cost you to upgrade the home yourself. I'm guessing that slider goes into the Florida room. Well, let's go inside and see if Dennis is here. Hey Dennis, nice looking house, 
Let me put the camera about where you're standing so I can get some shots of the kitchen. I like this open concept view into the living room and the dining area. Double sink is my kind of thing too. Nice ceramic stovetop and oven combo. Nice window above the sink for some natural light. Stainless steel refrigerator. And just look at this serving island with all of these cabinets. Wow! Dennis, would you introduce yourself to the folks? Good afternoon. My name is Dennis Natoli. I work for Four Star Homes, Bureau Beach office. And right now we are at 58 Sunset in Village Green. Dennis, this house looks like new. What all's been done here? We have, let me see, new subfloor, new laminate floors, new carpeting, painted inside, outside, new ceiling fans, new light fixtures, new air conditioning, new ductwork. The roof over is a, I would call like a membrane roof that will probably last a lifetime. It's been recently resealed. There's just like nothing left to do to this house but move in. I love this glassed-in Florida room. This house is set up really well for entertaining. There's just an amazing amount of storage between the kitchen and the dining room. Let's go look at the rest of the house. I like having both bedrooms on one side. If you and the boys are screaming at a football game, the wife can still take a nap. So here's the guest bedroom. This one's pretty good sized. Large window for nice natural light. This would also be plenty big for a combination craft room and office. With a craft table under the window and a desk wrapped around the other side, you could still put a fold-out bed on the wall by the closet. And that's a nice large closet. Is this new carpeting? Carpet is brand new and as well as the padding underneath it. Quarter? Subfloor. Wow, three-quarter inch plywood is pretty expensive these days. They really did it right. I see the guest bath is right across the hall. Nice vanity, beautiful walk-in shower, and I see it has the matching vinyl planked flooring. Plenty of storage in the vanity, too. Okay, master's at the end of the hallway. Nice bay window looking into the private backyard. This is a good-sized bedroom. Oh, and a second window for even more natural light. One thing I don't see, though, is a closet. These ceiling fans throughout the house sure help with the heating and air conditioning. Ah, here's the closet. And it's a big one. In the master bathroom. Plenty of room for a large wardrobe here. This bath features a walk-in shower as well. What are the vanity tops? This counter, as well as the one in the guest bathroom and the one in the kitchen, um, are an epoxy top. The whole house looks like it's new. What's the asking price again, Dennis? This house is at sixty-seven nine. I can only guess, but at today's prices, all the remodeling you're talking about is easily half of that. That's why I think recently remodeled homes can be a real bargain. Let's go look at the shed. I think I would put some nice indoor-outdoor carpeting out here. AstroTurf would be really cool, but the indoor-outdoor might be a little easier to keep clean. I like that vent above the door on the shed. Sometimes they get pretty hot. I see the washer and dryer hookups are out here in the shed. So I guess you would have to add those appliances to your budget. There's a lot of room for storage in here. I would build floor-to-ceiling shelving on both sides. Heck, with this much storage, I could get rid of my rental storeroom. That outside sink is handy, too, for washing stuff up. Lot rent for this home in 2023 will be $9.85 per month. This includes lawn care and, of course, all of the amenities of all three clubhouses in Village Green. There is an annual tax pass-through due in August. The bill in 2022 was $150. Trash removal is done weekly at a cost of $9 a month. 
Dennis, you got anything else to say to the folks? All those of you in the cold, frigid north, come on down. Sunshine's waiting on you. I hope you enjoyed our presentation of this home. If you would like to see more communities around the state, just click the link. Please give us a thumbs up if you found this video helpful. That really helps our channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.